Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the hydrogen bonds that we were talking about in the lecture. So remember, the more hydrogen bonds you have to break, the harder it is to break them. And this is sometimes why things can float on water that you would think would normally sink. So let's take this little makeup sponge thing here, this little like silicone teardrop shaped thing. Now, if I were to just simply plop this into the water, just kind of let it plop, it will sink down into the bottom of the glass. And you can see here that it's down here in the bottom of the glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and retrieve it. Just reach in here and grab it. So if I just kind of force it in there, it's gonna break those hydrogen bonds. The force of the movement, the gravity of it is gonna cause it to break a bunch of hydrogen bonds and fall down in the bottom of the glass. Now that would be force breaking hydrogen bonds, such as pushing something into it. But also, if I'm only going to break a couple of hydrogen bonds, I can drop the this uh, device, instead of laying it flat, I put it in this way, and it too will also drop down to the bottom of the glass. And this is because there are not enough hydrogen bonds to support this, um, this little silicone sponge type thing in the actual glass itself. So now I'm going to rearrange it so that it's just simply sitting flat like this. And I want to just very gently show you that I can just set this on the surface of the water and gently let it go. And now it will float. Now it is floating here, not because it's something that would normally float, like it's made out of uh, foam or something that floats. It's floating because the tension of all of the hydrogen bonds by gently placing this large surface area on top of more hydrogen bonds than fewer hydrogen bonds, I'm able to get this little piece of uh, makeup sponge, a silicone uh, thing here to float. If I were to try the same thing, right? So let's turn it sideways. We'll even, we'll even uh, do it so it's this way. If I'm even try to do it this way. Remember, this is very thin here, so this is a much narrower surface. If I just simply try to gently float it this way, it's still not going to float. And that's because there just are not enough hydrogen bonds to support it. Hope you enjoyed our little demo. See you in class.